Good morning, class. My name is Mr. Tuttle, and we're going to play a game called the Hurricane Game. I think you'll find this a fun game, and maybe you'll even learn some math. So, of course, as, as kids, most of you can't wait to grow up and be grown-ups. So, let's pretend you're grown-ups. And as grown-ups, you've got to live somewhere, right? So, each of you lives in a house. And you, I'll hand out your houses. Each of you lives in a house. Uh, now, as grown-ups, you can't just stay home and watch TV all day. You have to go out and earn a job and earn some money. So, you get a job, make some money. I'm going to give you some money. That's your salary. You have a house, but not enough money. A little more money for you. So now you have a house, you have some money, things are going great. Uh, but if you've been watching TV lately, you know that some bad things have been happening in some parts of the country called hurricanes. Uh, sometimes hurricanes happen, and when they happen, sometimes they can cause a lot of damage. And one of the things you can do to protect yourself, at least financially, is buy insurance. And I'm here to buy, sell you some insurance. Now you can, you can buy an insurance policy from me, or not buy it. I don't care. You're not going to hurt my feelings. And this is one of these math problems where there's no right answer. Some people can buy it. Some people cannot buy it. It really doesn't matter to me. There's no right answer. Uh, but I'm going to sell insurance for $20. And the way this works is if you buy the insurance, you pay me $20. And then if there's a hurricane, and if you have damage, the insurance company will pay for it. If there's no hurricane, you're out the $20. Or if there's a hurricane and you don't have damage, you're out the $20. Uh, so I'm, I'm here to sell, sell the insurance for $20, and you can buy it or not buy it. So presumably some of you will buy it, and we'll make some change. You'll give me the 100 Are you good? How much change? If, if I sell you $20 and you give me $100, how much change do you get? 80 is right. So here's $80 change for you. And you get an insurance policy. Uh, you decided not to buy the insurance. That's fine. And now here's how we're going to work the, the, the hurricane stuff. Uh, we're going to use dice. Uh, most of you have probably seen dice. These are cubes. One is called a die doesn't mean someone died. Two are called dice. And each dice, each die, has a number of dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. The other one also has one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to roll both dice and add up the numbers. So the smallest possible number on one die is one. The smallest possible number on the other die is one. That makes two. The smallest number we can get from two dice is 2. The biggest number is 6. Another 6, the biggest number from two dice, is 6 and 6 is 12. And here's how we're going to relate the dice with the hurricanes. If the dice roll is 12, and we'll talk later about what the chance of rolling a 12 is, the chance is 1 36th, which is pretty small. That means you have total damage to your house. Your house is gone. Uh, but if you bought the insurance, I'll pay for it. If you roll a 10 or an 11, and a 10 you could roll a number of different ways, such as a 5 and 5, or a 6 and 4, or an 11. The chance is quite a bit bigger rolling a 10 or 11. And then you have partial damage. And we're going to say partial damage is $50. So, if you didn't buy the insurance, you would have to pay the $50 to repair your house. If you roll anything else, which has a very strong probability, uh, then you have no damage. So, any questions? So now, each of you gets to roll the dice, and based on the roll, we'll see what happens. So now, you bought the insurance, you roll the dice, Four and two is six. So based on the board formula, that's a two through nine, you have no damage. So although you bought my insurance, you didn't have any damage to your house, 
So the insurance really doesn't come into play. Now you didn't buy the insurance. You thought maybe the chance of a hurricane was pretty small, or maybe you thought my insurance was too expensive, and either of those is quite fine. You roll the dice, and you get a four, which means you have no damage. So you did pretty well. So we're going to do this a few more times. Uh, I'm going to change the price of insurance every now and then. And you can decide each time whether to buy it or not. You can decide whether the fact that there was no damage last time affects the chance of damage next time. Does it make it more likely or less likely? Uh, you can decide my insurance is a ripoff and I'm just making too much money, which a lot of people seem to think. Uh, I don't refund anybody's insurance because you didn't have any damage. Uh, and that, we're going to do this for a while. Uh, some people might go bankrupt if they don't have enough money to pay for their house. It gets totally damaged. Uh, and that's a pretty sad thing, but uh, I'm sorry, it's not my fault. And we'll do this for a while, and then we'll talk about what we learned and how I got these probabilities, and if there are any uh, interesting math conclusions we can reach from this, this lesson. This, this concludes the talk. Mm -hmm.